you're not doing your brain any favors if you don't know about astrocytes and why they matter. Astrocytes are a very diverse group of cells and they are required to help neurons function. Not only do they help support neurons that have signaling with things like glutamate and GABA, glutamate being the major excitatory neurotransmitter, meaning the on switch for our brain, GABA being the major inhibitory neurotransmitter, meaning the off switch. So they help to take back up and recycle those neurotransmitters when they're released in the cleft. In ADHD people, astrocytes don't function the same way. When these astrocytes aren't functioning properly and they're not supporting these ways that neurons communicate this excitatory information, meaning like, go, 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 or turn this thing off, this can be involved in ADHD symptoms. How often do we have trouble filtering out stimuli when we need to focus on something? This lack of focus is not just due to dopamine and norepinephrine. Glutamate and GABA are present everywhere throughout our bodies, and this can even contribute to things like fidgeting to release energy. And when astrocytes can't maintain the blood-brain barrier properly because they are functioning differently, things can leak in from our blood that should not get into our brain that do, which creates brain inflammation. This can lead to brain fog, trouble thinking clearly, forgetting things, and other symptoms that we see in ADHD. Follow me because I'm going to explain this entire concept all week long. Ask me questions in the comments. I will happily respond and tailor my videos to exactly what your needs are and share this with your ADHD bestie.